Well, tomorrow the Ford Idaho Center is going extreme. They're hosting the Enduro Cross Motorcycle Racing, and this morning, one of the top riders that you'll see there, Destry Abbott, is joining us live in studio. Thanks so much for coming in through the snow, Destry. Yeah, yeah. Was quite I'm a, from quite Arizona, so this snow is a little different. For I was going to say, have you ever seen it before? <laughs> yeah, I've okay. actually been in the snow quite a bit. Maybe but I like it. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, we we're excited to have you guys in town for all your racing that's going to be going on at the Idaho Center. But you yeah. personally have a pretty amazing story because I understand oh. you've been riding for years, right? Yes. And tell us what happened uh, uh, a while back when um, you were out riding with yeah, your son. Yeah, like you were talking about four years ago, I, I was with my son. We live in Arizona and we were up in Flagstaff and one of those freak storms stopped by real quick, leaned the bikes against the trees, it was raining and mm -hmm. next thing you know I hear lightning and boom, next thing you know we were on the ground and... So you were actually I, struck by lightning? Oh, it struck the water. We were in like a big old puddle <sighs> kind of thing and they say don't lean against a tree and I didn't know that at the time so I'm thinking get out of the water, get out of the rain and uh -huh. That was the worst case, and I woke up and blind in one eye, and it oh. was uh, heart rate was way up. And were you actually hospitalized after uh, this? Yes, yeah, so I actually then went to the hospital, had some blindness in my left eye and uh, heart rate issues, but uh, it was a scary moment for sure. Why well, that probably changed how and how often you were racing yeah. then, right? I, I imagine. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely took me a year to get back to where I was at with my heart rate issues and my eyesight, but uh, now I'm back to 100 percent. The only problem is 100 percent eyesight even. Yeah, yeah, the oh, eyesight's wow. back, yeah, so uh, I burnt my retina, and that took a little bit, but, you know, that's, that's the way it is, and I'm blessed to still be here. So. Yeah, definitely, so th I think that means when people are at the Ford Idaho Center tomorrow watching you, it'll be even <laughs> more amazing knowing that story. And you brought in one of the bikes that you raced. Yes. Tell us a little bit about, about this bike. Um, this is my race bike. This is a Kawasaki 250F. Uh, most of the pros, you know, we'll have amateur racing during the day on Saturday, which is open to everybody, and then at the night, all of us pros come out, and the guys that qualify during the day, get the race with us and they're all on pretty much the same kind of machine you know Yamaha, KTM, Kawasaki, Honda, whatever it may be and uh, yeah it'll be it'll be exciting I mean we still have tickets available right now for Saturday night and okay. like I say during the day it's open to everybody anybody you don't need tickets if you want to come out and see it and guarantee it'll be the most exciting racing you've seen. And when you say racing, I just want to make sure people understand. It's not just racing like you think oh. in traditional track sense. What you guys are doing no. jumps and all sorts of no, things. No, it's kind of a hybrid of supercross, off-road. You know, I raced off-road up here in Idaho and loved one of my favorite places, Idaho City, not far from here and um, it's we go jumps. We're in a stadium, so it's not going to be cold. It'll be yeah. nice. <laughs> um, and we go over logs, rocks. We have waterfall jumps and wow. it's Do you it's have a favorite a favorite event that you like um, to compete in? Probably Enduro Cross. We do X Games also as part of the series. Uh, Enduro Cross goes to X Games, so that's how much this has grown. And and you'll see some of the best riders in the world here tonight. We only have two, or should I say Saturday night? We only have two rounds left in the series, so uh, there's some guys still trying to get that number one plate. All right. So quickly, tomorrow night, what time at the Fort Idaho Center? Uh, I believe gates open at six, but uh, racing starts at seven thirty. All right. So a lot to be seen. Action-packed stuff going there. Thanks so much, Destry, Thank for sharing you. your story.